so for those of you who don't know, co-housing is um, a, a community, a basically a custom-made neighborhood that is developed with the future tenants, the future residents, the future owners of, or, or tenants. But um, basically there's six defining characteristics. One is that the future residents play a huge role in the development, organization, and design of the future community and the financing to the extent possible. Um, two is that there's extensive common facilities. I, I live in a 34 unit co-housing community, 34 houses, we all have our own house, but we have 4,000 square foot of common building that we use extensively. Third is that the design of the community is designed to very much facilitate community over time and a highly functional neighborhood based on the design. For example, uh, where I live, all of our parking is in one little lot and you walk by the common house to walk to your house and you walk past your neighbors to, um, to uh, get to your house. We had a 90 year old um, who 10 years ago moved from the closest house to the parking because her kids talked her into being there to the furthest house from the parking about over 500 feet. And I asked her one day, Meg, why did you do this? And she said, because my relationship with my neighbor is so much more important than my relationship with my car. Or is that it's entirely self-managed. I mean, there's no management company or hierarchy, or, or I should say no management company. And, um, and uh, we do everything by consensus. Five is that um, there's no shared economy other than you know, our HOA dues. And six is, six is there's no hierarchy. It's all, it's all very um, egalitarian. It's really amazing once you have the conversation about what we might do to make life simpler, more convenient, more practical, more economical, more healthy, more interesting, more fun. Once you have that conversation, the, uh, it's, a, it's a waterfall of possibilities. Mm -hmm.